Hello, today we are going to run over a feature that is available in all versions of Acronis CyberProtect, whether it be cloud hosted or our on-premise edition. The feature is called One Click Restore, and it enables the capability for a user without access to the Acronis console or any previous knowledge of how Acronis works to recover a system that may have crashed or had an operating system error. Enabling One Click Restore starts with our protection plan. So in this case, we have a protection plan, standard backup where we're backing up the entire machine to a network share location. We're also replicating to cloud storage. Inside of the backup options is where we'll find the option for one click restore. So here's one click recovery. You can see I have it enabled in this case. You can password protect this. So if you wanted to pre prevent a user from doing an unauthorized restoration, you can password protect it, lock it down, and then only give out that password as necessary. In this case, this plan already has it enabled and has been ran on the device. One click restore at its heart is a modification of something called the Acronis Startup Recovery Manager. So if I come and look at the machines themselves, for example, my workstation that I have here and look at the details, if I scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that I have the Startup Recovery Manager enabled. This is turned on automatically by running the protection plan. So anytime a protection plan runs, it updates and makes sure the Startup Recovery Manager is running. And then the one click recovery scripts that are ran on top of the Recovery Manager are updated to include any of the storage locations that, that are supported. In this scenario, I've got a VM, in this case, this workstation too, that I've already taken the time to, to power off and boot to one click restore. The process is very straightforward, but to save us time, a quick summary is during post, you'll see a new prompt for pressing F11. F11 then allows it to load into the one-click recovery script. When we're inside of here, I can see three or four different options. So recover the, late, the machine from the latest backup. It knows where the latest backup is stored at, so the user doesn't have to enter in credentials or any information such as that. I can select the backup that I want to recover, so maybe I need to go back further in time. My backup may have two or three different recovery points inside of it. I may want to choose one of those other recovery points, so this gives you that option. Or we're doing kind of a different style of recovery where I don't want to pull back that exact same backup. This allows me to go into the backup console and then select manually the process of the backup. And then if someone gets into it on accident, there's a reboot option here. In this demonstration, we are pulling from a network share. One click recovery does support three different styles of storage locations. One of them would be what we call the Acronis startup, or excuse me, the Acronis secure zone. It's a hidden partition local to the machine. That would be the fastest mode of recovery. It does require disk space on the machine to store that. Network shares are supported. So in this case, an SMB share, and then the Acronis cloud is supported. Now, if any of these locations for whatever reason is not reachable, one click recovery does have the knowledge of those other storage locations. So it will skip and move on to the next location to grab that backup and do the restore. So when I select an option here, it's going to give me a warning. Hey, this is a full disk recovery. It's going to wipe out any changes that have been made to the disk since the last backup was taken. So as a user, they simply just have to continue yes through that. What's going to happen is now we're going to see a couple of screens pop up here. So it's going to start the actual agent in the background in a pre-boot style. So this is all loaded into memory here. Um, so we're going to see a flash of what looks like our, our standard bootable media here. This is Startup Recovery Manager essentially starting up here. Uh, but then what will happen is it'll automatically kick off that recovery. So we'll start to see a progress bar go across here. Um, so here's a boot media. If you've used our software before, you're seeing you're used to seeing that. Now it's listing all of the backups inside of there so it can find the most recent one. And then from this point, we'll start to see a progress bar. This does estimate time. Um, so you'll see time kind of go very quickly here. Um, this estimated time will jump up quite a bit here. Keep in mind, this is an estimate, right? So some people would call it Windows time. In that scenario, you'll see the time fluctuate. It'll sit at zero to 1% for a while as it's learning essentially what we're recovering here. But once we get past and into those higher percentages, you'll see the time dramatically re reduce here. We're not gonna wait for this entire thing to recover. Uh, you know, Depending on how large your backup is, you're gonna have different timings inside of there. But this was a quick demonstration of the one-click recovery functionality that's now available in, in the Acronis products. This gives you that capability of allowing your users to be able to do restores, self-service restores on those machines in a full machine method without having to find a USB or no pathways or, or passwords to, to storage locations. Very simple and easy to use. And we thanks for the time. Have a great day. Yeah.